Well, hello, my friends in Monet Cafe. We're going to have some fun. And this is going to be a summer fun lesson. At least it's summer here where I am in the United States, in the southern United States. I know we have members from all over the world. So, But here we have a lot of our kids are out of school. It's time to have some fun. So I'm going to break out these iridescent pastels that I got from the Mount Vision Pastel Company. If you have not heard of them, check out my video where I literally do a tour of this facility. It's here in Tampa where I live, Tampa, Florida. So I love them. Let's get started. Oh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. It's so fun. And we also have a Facebook group, Monet Cafe Art Group. For today's lesson, I'm actually going to be painting over a painting I've already done. It's a watercolor painting I did with an art student of mine. See the glitter? It was kind of a fun project with a, one of my younger art students. And uh, I kind of did this one uh, a little haphazardly because the focus was more on her piece and uh, I always liked it but it was a little sloppy you know because it was just a lesson um, but I loved adding that glitter it was just you know like I said a summer fun project so what I'm gonna do is notice I added the iridescent pastels up there I just held up the clear liquid gesso that I've used in other videos what it's gonna do is allow the pastels to stick to this pastel doesn't adhere to regular surfaces or watercolor paper very well so I'm just brushing this on with kind of a cheap brush but I'm keeping the strokes directional in the way the flower grows typically in my other videos when I've done pastel over watercolor paper or any other surface by applying the liquid clear liquid gesso I've applied it over the entire surface with a foam brush so this is kind of a new technique I'm just blowing it dry there but I've got my clear gesso strategically placed where I'm going to enhance these flowers. So I've sped this up because I think you can get the idea here. Uh, I'm just kind of enhancing them, brightening them, making them bold. One thing I do try to be careful about with uh, whenever I paint over watercolor is watercolor, one of its most beautiful qualities is the luminosity, the ability of that white paper to show through and keep that uh, very bright uh, appearance. So. I don't want to apply so much pastel that I lose that and that's one of the reasons that I was careful with where I put it now that uh, as much as I love purple I decide against this using purple in here it's too dark of a value I'm limited with the colors of this uh, iridescent pastel set I have that green is much better um, and just so you know the set that I showed at the beginning of this video um, it comes however many there are there's a set to the far left if you go back and look at that picture those are the darks it doesn't come with the dark iridescence you have to get them separately but I just got all of them when I was touring the factory uh, oh wow the owner is so great his name's Carl Kelly if you live anywhere near the Tampa area he is more than welcome to give you a tour and you can go there and just pick out the pastels you want there's a lot of sets there that I love but um, these little iridescent pastels I have not really worked on them at all just goofed off with them for a second but this is really the first time I'm using them and I I thought I'd just do it in a fun way you know so um, I'm re-establishing the darks here in some of the centers of this geranium um, and they're a little too dark so I soften them uh, in a minute and this geranium is not correct you know I think typically geraniums have a lot more of those little flowers in them I love geraniums and hydrangeas because they look like little bouquets you cut off one flower and it's like a bouquet of flowers with all the little individual flowers so even though this isn't you know exactly right it's still going to be kind of loose and impressionistic and and uh, just keeping this one kind of um, fun easy and this would be a great project to do with kids if you are a pastel artist and you have some pastels is just do a little fun watercolor get you some clear liquid gesso it's very cheap and um, and just play around with enhancing little parts of a flower or of any particular scene here I decided that I needed a little more variety in this than that one big flower um, now I'm just kind of uh, outlining some of these flowers so they show up more individually and um, I'm adding more uh, of the geraniums kind of just here there and everywhere in the distance there the ones in the background are not going to be the star of the show obviously that big one is um, I'm playing around with this pink here I think I kind of decide against it later um, it, that's something you may want to do as an artist just kind of check colors before you commit to them just try them you know real lightly in a couple of places and go hmm is that working or is it not and those things get better in time now I'm loving this blue in there of course I've already got the blue in the upper atmosphere there on the right hand side 
Um, I tried some of that yellow back there. I kind of like that. I liked it in the top part of the flowers where the light is reflecting. And I decided I had splattered. That was part of our lesson with my student. We just splattered some watercolor. That's kind of a fun impressionistic thing to do. But I decided to make the splatters centers of a flower and just make this one kind of really subdued underneath the other one. It just kind of balanced things out a little bit. But I keep that one real impressionistic. And uh, I think I even add another one. That upper uh, right area is still very bare. I actually ended up using that to, sometimes I put Bible verses on my images. I'll take a picture, and I think I did that with this one, which is why I left that blank. But um, in a minute, I think I add um, a flower up there. So just enjoy this. I'm gonna finish up and try it. I know you'll have fun. Okay, so I'm finishing up here by adding some darks, a little bit more of the stems and grasses here and there, but wasn't that fun? I hope you enjoyed that, and please try it. Try it with your kids, or just make this kind of a fun summer activity where you lighten up. Sometimes we get too serious as artists, so subscribe, come back and visit soon, and happy painting!